pure ad lyrics and that goes out of the window one of the songs I'm currently working on and the lyrics started with a saying born with a silver spoon in hand so I started thinking about it what does it mean who are the peoples that are born or were born with silver spoon in hand and uh, then I came to the conclusion that maybe some are born with silver spoon in hand but in the end, in the end we are all born with gravedigger shovel in hand because we are the ones who will eventually bury those who were before us so and my wife said that that sounds so hopeful and then I showed her the uh, sketch for the lyrics I was like, okay that's it so much for that it's about minus 20 degrees outside and uh, with wind shear minus 28 so it's a bit cold so I don't think I'm going to film all that much outdoors today simply because batteries and cold doesn't mix together all that well so let's see what we can do outdoors indoors I mean and then I'm waiting for a uh, post we don't have any money currently oh, we have but it's on a account that we don't have the uh, password because in a web bank and obviously we don't have a bank office here so that's one of the problems and the main thing is that we ran out of the uh, password things for each time you log in you have to you have to type in a different password and you have a list of them and we ran out of them and we should get another one through post but haven't seen any yet and uh, we counted how much money we have on the accounts that are available it's about four euros and tomorrow is Tuesday so the mail doesn't run for some reason post office decided that they are not handling any mail or they're not delivering any mail on Tuesdays so if it doesn't come through today we'll have to wait until Wednesday in order to go to the shop and do all the kinds of other things so that's kind of a yay Today, this room has pretty much been my life. I've been out once. I went to the grocery store. But uh, I got asked if I have music to offer for a uh, short film. And uh, if I understood correctly, they have asked uh, multiple people for something. And then, so they'll have more options and then just pick the one. what take the one they want but the criteria were kind of uh, yeah well I've been involved with uh, kind of a short film music before making kind of soundscapes and all that kind of synthy stuff but this was kind of uh, interesting so the criteria were 90s rock with slight psychedelic flavors in 4-4 time in A minor no lead What's again? No lead, no acoustic guitars, no strings. So this will be kind of interesting project, and I think I have, I think I have a song, or a, a skeleton of a song, I could use. But that means I have to demo it first. I only have an acoustic demo. And I assume that what they want is slightly more kind of produced thing, something that you can get the idea of a song. Because acoustic demos are nice if you're just doing melodies, chords, so forth. But nowadays, if you want your songs to be published, not by yourself, but you're offering demos, song demos for different artists or record labels or something like that 
simply a simple acoustic demo doesn't cut it anymore. Those were the old days when you could just take a cassette tape a tape recorder, press record and then do your thing with an acoustic guitar or electric piano or whatever you used and sing on top of that. Nowadays if you send a demo to somewhere you have to produce it a lot more so you have to make it almost release ready and that's kind of a well that's a chore on its own but uh, <clears throat> for me I like it because that way you can influence more about how the song will probably or hopefully be arranged because obviously the arrange, arranging thing is the whole nother story but if you add hooks and you add certain kind of flavors and ear candy when you're making a demo and you produce it as much as you can without going overboard mm, that's more challenging and as I said that's much more interesting because then you can really hear how the song develops because if you if you make a melody and you find chords then write the lyrics well there's a song but sometimes it just doesn't work with just one instrument and vocal you need more and uh, well there's this old saying that a good song works even with one acoustic guitar mm. Not really sure because there are music genres and uh, you no know, single songs that really need electric. For example, think about uh, Enter Sandman. Wouldn't work, or obviously it's a familiar riff, but there's no power if you play it on a uh, acoustic guitar or something like Slayer or well, basically anything that has something to do with trash or death metal there is acoustic uh, black metal being made that's kind of interesting <laughs> interesting genre of music and it actually works if the uh, musicians are good and they can arrange that those songs correctly I mean acoustic black metal is still effective it's very effective actually but uh, then you have those certain things that you just need electricity in, for, in order for it to work and if you have seen I don't I'm, I think it, the name of the channel was paranormal guitar channel I think it was and uh, the guy who runs the channel made a few videos with the title uh, metal without distortion you can say that uh, slayer without distortion is basically surf music or trash in general if you take distortion away it's surf music mm. <clears throat> but I have to see what I can come up with although I have time that's something I have it's about a month and a half before I have to send the uh, send the song if I want to but it's, I decided to give it a shot anyways to see what I can come up with and since I have to write the lyrics in English I also have to get those uh, proofread I think it's the right term so there are no mistakes what comes to language and sentence or word order or anything like that so that's one thing and then I have to tune one of my guitars because it it have to it has to be in a, a minor that song but I want to use D standard guitar with it that way I can do more about 9 p.m. and it seems that this is one of those nights the master of mood swings struck again stroke again whatever you probably have these in a, well, I don't know, maybe in bigger scale than me, or in smaller scale than me. But everything's going fine, no problem, then all of a sudden something happens. 
it can be something very very small and in my case I'll turn into a time bomb in that situation and it only and it, it only takes one one wrong question or one wrong tone of word <laughs> and well it in my case it's not about you know physically exploding you know, physically <laughs> So I don't turn into this kind of a shouting <coughs> person, but I'll turn extremely in innerly angry for some reason. I don't know why, and that's kind of hard to contain because, well, yelling just because of yelling that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> I wish I'd had a uh, a punching bag, a boxing bag for times like these sometimes I'll take a long walk extremely long walk something like 8, eight kilometers I think is my record just go out there and <laughs> let out steam but for some reason I've had this well obvious, obviously I know the, uh, the bottom reason of it and that's because of the uh, ADHD and uh, this neurological thing that I have or this neurological damage I have uh, those two combined and usually things are going fine or usually things go fine and everything sorts out but this has been going for ages now and I think I talk I talked about this in some of my previous videos usually days like these <laughs> or times like times like these they only last for a day maybe two but I've been on this kind of a bounce, bouncy mood for months now and it's getting kind of frustrating because I don't want to be angry to people who are around me but it takes so little to make me irritated that it's ridiculous well I could call it a face but since it's been months now since it started it's been months since I became more sensitive to things like this this is not even funny anymore <sighs> and obviously it's it's kind of an inner frustration and if someone says a wrong word I'll, I'll get angry to that person and then I'm even more frustrated for getting angry, so it's a cycle. And then it breaks <laughs> for a couple of days, then it starts again. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it's this kind of economical uncertainty. You never know. You always have to plan and think and hope how to make through a month financially and then there are a few other things that are constantly grinding grinding gears but I really I really do hope that it doesn't turn any anything worse than what what it is now because then then I can say that I need help right now I can still say that I all all I need is understanding and peace. You know, have time of my own, or some place where I can go to boil without anyone interrupting. <sighs> but anyways, I think this day is or today is done. So see ya.